What's going on guys? In today's video, uh, what I want to be talking about, first of all, we have a little bit of a new setup here going on. Um, got the mic here, the desktop. That's a little dangerous right there. But in today's video, I want to talk about three apps for Shopify that are not on the App Store. Not on the Shopify App Store. Think, things that I think you guys need, okay? So, I'm um, just going to get right into it. But basically, guys, number one on this on this list of three right is called live recover this is a fairly new i mean i'm not gonna say new sort of program but i know the owner his name's dennis a really cool guy but he's had this i think for around two years one, one year i think but he himself did a lot of e-commerce i think he did a few million in e-commerce and then from there he created his own app and what this does is you know he has a team of real people so people humans you and me that text people back when they abandon your cart okay so this is a form of cart abandonment recovery um, it's not like an email sequence or anything. It's just like a real person that texts your customer or your potential customer and says, you know, it offers them a discount, offers them whatever, answers any questions they have um, to make you money. Now, the crazy thing about this is that you don't have to pay anything up front. So you would only pay money when his, his team makes you sales, okay? They have a few different plans, I think, but they do literally have a free plan and you offer a commission based on the sales they close. So this literally does not hurt you at all. Uh, you don't, like, there's no risk to it. It's like you only pay when they make you money, okay? That, I think, is crazy all right so again for any of these apps guys i'll have the link down in the description so you guys can check it out it's a few stats right like text messages and stuff most text messages are open in the first two minutes of receiving them text messages have like a 98 percent open rate um with today's digital age you know mass adoption with mobile phones and mobile purchasing and everything like that um having you know text messages and whatnot having a team on text messages and you know sort of like recovering your abandoned cards um, and helping you close more money can be the difference between an unprofitable and profitable ad campaign um, going on with your store, right? So again, if if you know if you don't have really good email sequences set up, or maybe you do, and you also want to account for people that enter their phone number in Shopify and sort of do that, then that is something I would highly highly recommend okay now the second app i want to talk about guys is more of a utility based app but not many people know about it it's called tracky pay you'll see that on the desktop screen right there uh, literally what that app does is it automatically syncs your shopify orders to paypal orders okay now this is a big big deal because as previously noted or if you guys have been watching videos for a while you know that i don't like i'm not, I'm not typically a very big fan of facebook now I, you, you can get on Facebook's bad side really easily, especially if you're drop shipping, just because longer shipping times, customers are more prone to just say, you know, they didn't order this item or it's fraudulent or anything like that, and PayPal will usually side with them. Now, what you can do to alleviate that, and outside of that, right, like, the, they will put holds on your money. So they can hold your money, I mean, they can put a, a rolling reserve of like 21 days, 30 days, anything like that, on continuous sales that you're bringing in. They can also just hold your money straight up for 90 days. Um, there's a lot of different sort of limitations they can put on your money with their account, right? Now, what adding tracking numbers to your PayPal orders does is it shows PayPal that one, you care about your customers, two, that you're, you know, you're continually um, sort of like keeping up with your customers and you are actually legitimately shipping these items to them, okay? Um, what a lot of people don't understand is like, even if you have you know, an order fulfillment app in Shopify that'll add tracking numbers to your Shopify orders, it still won't add it to PayPal's orders, okay? Those are two whole different uh, payment processors, right? You have Shopify payments or Stripe, whatever you're using, and then PayPal. You need to account for that. Um, and again, just by using this app, uh, again, I, I, out of all the apps that do this, this is the, the cheapest one, I believe, okay? Um, it, it's, it's literally cents. Uh, per order that it automatically does. I think it's less than a cent or just one cent. I'm not, I'm not really sure. But by doing this, PayPal will usually let you do instant withdrawals with your money all the time. You don't have to really worry about a crazy limitation or only do a two or three day hold period before you're allowed to withdraw instead of like a 21 day rolling reserve um, if you're not doing that. Okay, now this is something that I recently came upon um, for my teams with my virtual assistants and everything that that, um, for my team with my virtual assistants and the order fulfillment stuff that they do, this saves them a lot of time because now they can just I mean, really have it automated where, you know, when you do update tracking numbers on Shopify, uh, it'll also send that to PayPal and add that to your PayPal order so the customer can actually be updated on that end, okay? Now, the last and final app I wanna talk about is Zipify One Click Upsell. You see that right here. This one is a little bit more popular than the other two by far, but it is probably responsible for the most amount of potential money you can actually make out of these three apps, right? So again, with Live Recover, the first app we talked about, that's more for like, a, a, again, a recovering abandoned carts, right? Where people that enter their phone number have questions and stuff like that, like this, that's more of like recovering lost money, okay? That you could potentially have, okay? Now, Tracky Pay, 
Um, the second app we talked about is basically just ensuring that you can have steady cash flow with PayPal and that your customer satisfaction rate stays high with PayPal and Shopify and Facebook's feedback score now. Because if you're running Facebook ads, Facebook actually asks the customers, you know, two, three weeks down the line, hey, you ordered from the store. How was your experience with it? If you say, if, if they say one star, they say, you know, they didn't get it. They, they rate you really, really bad. That's going to hurt your ads and they might even disable your ad account if you're just straight up drop shipping and not caring about your clients okay um now this last app right zipify what that does is it allows you to maximize your average order value okay so this this enables you to just make more money per order okay now what that means is that after a customer purchases a product okay whatever it is it'll take them to a separate landing page outside of shopify's payments okay this is where you connect it with stripe or do whatever i think they're now starting to integrate with shopify and whatnot but um, basically it take you to a separate landing page where again after a customer purchases a product it is statistically insanely higher i think it's like 45 percent um, easier to get a customer to purchase a product once they've already purchased something. So again, after you've done all the hard work, you know, uh, running ads, getting them to click on the ad, getting them to your website, getting your website to convert them into a paying customer. After all that work's done, you made that uh, that you know x amount of money from that purchase. It'll take them to a landing page which says, "Hey, you just bought this. You can get this for this amount, or you can you know buy two of these, get this one free. Um, anything that where it's sort of like an upsell and encouraging them to spend more because you already gained their trust and they already spent something on your store. Okay. Now this. This can also be a big, big, big factor and the difference between a profitable and a not profitable campaign. Okay, guys. So again, just a very, very quick video. I want to basically run through three apps that aren't on the Shopify app store. So aren't really known about or very talked about much in this kind of space that I wanted to bring light to um, the first two, especially um, I think out of all of them, you know, I think I may have mentioned Zipify a few times in the past, but there's a lot of beginners on this channel and people that are just seeing these videos that are getting into the space and want to know how to capitalize and make more money um, out of all the work that they're doing anyways. Okay. So again, these apps just make it easier to make more money from all the traffic you're bringing in already. Okay. So again, with that first uh, app, Live Recover, it's about recovering abandoned carts and people that enter the information. They get really close to checkout. They don't actually purchase. The second app, Tracky Pay, is more about keeping good customer satisfaction and keeping on good terms with PayPal. So it'll auto update all your tracking numbers and whatnot from your Shopify order fulfillment to PayPal. And the last one is Zipify One Click Upsell, where you can just make more money off the money you're already making from the customers that gave you the money. Okay, does that make sense? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to comment if you guys have any questions. Um, again, all the links for the apps are in the description down below. And uh, make sure to subscribe, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.